Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Machine Expert HVAC. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video what we're going to see is an overview of the display top that we have in the software. So let's go to the presentation. So as you can see over here, the visibility on this case of the M171 uh, is not the same as the other one. And that means because the M171 doesn't have the display tab enabled in order to be programmed. So once you select the the controller, okay, this is like an overview of what you're going to see. Let me just hide myself a little bit uh, like this. So in the top part, we have the toolbar, okay, similar to the to the one that we have for the um, for the programming part, okay, with a few different items. Then in the left part, we have the HMI project that basically they have all the resources in order to program our display. And in the center, we have the display area, which is where we are going to program or design the, uh, the embedded display. Something important here is this one, HMI actions, okay, because they are linking to local or global actions that we can have on the controller. And by default, there are a few already uh, defined that I'm going to cover it in a few minutes. As usual, we have the output windows, okay, which is the one that gives us any information about if, if, if we have any error. And then we have the variables from PLC or devices, which is located over here in HMI bars and parameters. Here we should be able to find all the variables defined, the internal variables defined on the controller or in the um, EPRON status variables that we have. So in case we are not able to see some of those objects, basically what we need to do is to go to view, select two windows, and then select what we want to show on the display. So if we take a look on the toolbar, okay, in the display part, we should be able to see some of these elements. And I'm going to explain just a little bit uh, some of them. So the first one is related to the grid. So we should be able to select what we're going to show if we want to see the grids or not, only for the development part, okay? So I recommend you to select the grid so you can locate the elements in a much better way. Then we have the possibility to make zoom in, zoom out to have further information on the design, uh, on the design that we want. Uh, it doesn't mean that you and the real trigger is going to have a zoom in, zoom out, which just for developing. Then you have the static test that basically you can select this, put it on the display, and then type whatever you want. Simple as that. Then we have the possibility to enter a edit field that basically the edit field is going to be the object that allow the customer operator to introduce a new value on the variable selected. Then we have these that are more related for design in case you want to add a line. We have different uh, width over here. Okay. And then the possibility to make rectangles. Then we have the possibility to create, not to create, but to add images. Okay. And create some kind of animation for the images. Okay. Which is this one. Something important here when we want to work with images is that you will need to be precise on the um, on the pixels that you have on the images. You cannot stretch or reduce or make modifications on the size of the images in the software. The size that you have for the images is going is the same that it's going to have over here. Okay, so you need to make sure because we don't have too many pixels on the display. And then we have the possibility to use a button. Okay, just to add information and probably create an action. Along with those elements, we have this one, which is the progress bar. In case we want to see, I don't know, uh, the percentage in a different way or how the velocity or something, whatever you want in a progress bar. Then I already mentioned before that uh, we have um, the HMI actions and it can be local and global. The idea of this is that um, the PLC okay, it doesn't have any touch. So you can use the key that you have on the right part okay, to execute some actions. 
and by default which is something i don't know if it's it isn't new okay but in the past in the previous version of the software this wasn't activated so you will need to add it every time now we have it by default that these two okay are the navigation between the different elements that you have because each element on the display have a number so depend on the number that you have is the navigation that you can go with these buttons over each element and then with the ok is the enter so if you have for example an edit field you just move using the arrows um, these two arrows okay the buttons and then with ok you can enter to change okay or if you are in a button select the button and press ok to execute the action so basically it's, it's that idea so on one good thing is that you can even if you are using for example a plc that is blind doesn't have the display you can make the programming okay and then in case you need to have a, a display okay the embedded display and you need to change it you have already the application um ba -ba -bum, let me just show you the software so this is the m172 okay and this one is the m171 optimized and you can see there is no display as i already mentioned and if you go to the display part here you have uh, some of the properties how you want the navigation for display but for for the details about the, how to program display you're probably creating a different kind of training uh, because probably it's going to take more time but here you have the pages that here you can add different pages okay it's like uh, different panels and then you have the navigation between different panels um here you can change the grid size but i usually use uh one one so i have for the definition okay something important here is that the display is monochromatic so you don't have any color then the variables that you have from the controller that you have defined in, on the configuration on status on epron is going to be defined over here in local parameters and by default we have all the variables that are related to the bios it's going to be located here in the local parameters okay so this is basically what i want to show you you have possibility to add the images but need to be a bmp and you need to be careful on the size because for example if i add a rectangle over here okay to add an image over here as I mentioned before you cannot shrink it or extend it it must have the size that you want so if you want for example something to this size you just need to define the pixels 32 per 32 so it fits on the display on the embedded display then we have the possibility to create some actions to execute or write into some specific place uh, we have the possibility to create pop-up messages um, so there's a lot of information here okay uh, but just wanted to show you like an overview of what you can do or what are some of the tools but we want to cover that part later so this is uh, like an overview for the um, display tab that we have in the system so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one